This is the most important part of production is delinting oneself. I got new socks, so I slide a little bit better now. So I really like mugs and tumblers and everything that you can take drinks to go in. Between my partner and I, we've collected quite a few. Some of them you can put hot drinks in, some of them you can put cold drinks in. Let's say the drink I'm gonna be having is something like a cold brew, something iced, something that I might wanna drink a lot of over the course of the day. I might grab something like this right here. It's 20 ounces, it has a really nice spout on the top that'll block any ice from coming out. But let's say I'm taking to go something like a latte, something that's really, really milky, something I wanna get the texture of the drink from and all of that sort of stuff. In that case, I might grab this little mug here. You can pop this off if you wanna drink directly from it. You can put it back on, it's got a little spout here. You like flip to the side, it's great. Anyways, I've got lots of opinions about all of these. And with that being said, I have bought something. I have bought a very silly thing. I have purchased the goat mug. Goat mug. Allow me to explain. This is the goat mug. This is a vessel that you are supposed to use to take your drinks with you. Now, before we really dive into what this strange thing is, I wanna give a huge shout out to our sponsor who is going to be providing our drink for the day, which is Mudwater. I wanna give a huge thank you to Mudwater for sponsoring this video. Now, I know this is Morgan Drinks Coffee, but let me let you in on a little secret. Sometimes I don't always wanna drink coffee. Mudwater is a gluten-free and vegan alternative with four adaptogenic mushrooms and Ayurvedic herbs like turmeric, cacao, and cinnamon. In. With only one seventh the amount of caffeine of a cup of coffee, this is a drink you can have all day without messing up your sleep schedule. Mudwater also makes sure their product's packaging is plastic free, with their tins being recyclable and their creamer packaging being compostable. Oh, and another really cool thing is that they work with Pachama and pay monthly to reforestation efforts to ensure that they have as a company a positive carbon footprint. P.S. Want to know my little pro tip about making mud water? Well, you should add about four ounces of steamed oat milk. It's super tasty. So if you're ready to get started with your own starter kit, which includes a 30 serving tin of mud, a USB rechargeable frother, a free sample of their vegan coconut creamer, and a guidebook plus stickers, you're just in time because you can try mud water today and get 15% off their starter kit using my code MDC. Again, click the link in the description and use code MDC. Okay, welcome back. Let's talk about the goat mug. A little bit of history about this thing. This is coming from a company called Goat Story. And this is not new. This is something that happened, happened, was created back in 2014. It originally started as a Kickstarter and it was actually a pretty infamous Kickstarter. It got incredibly well funded. And I mean, you can see why it's kind of a strange gimmick. And you look at this thing and you're like, how am I supposed to drink and carry this and use this practically? Ironically enough, I saw this Kickstarter back in the day when it was out. But did I purchase it or think about buying it? No. But recently it popped back up in my searches and I thought, let's try this thing. So I've got myself here my very own goat mug. I have never used this before. So I thought, let's figure out how this thing works together. And we're also gonna take it out into nature and see how this works in practice. Cause it's all well and good to try out something in your kitchen when you can have everything set up. But I think we should use this as one would in real life, which means we're going on a field trip today. So fun. Okay, let's talk specs for a second. So when you get your goat mug, it comes in this nice little burlap bag right here, which is already setting you up for quite the goat mug experience. Now inside we have, in fact, our goat mug along with this removable cup sleeve, if you will call it, but it is also a stand and I will explain that in a second. Now we also have these straps that go with it. You might be asking, why does one need straps? for your mug. I will also answer that in a quick second. Now, when we're talking about our mug itself, here are some facts you should know. None of this is microwave safe. You're not supposed to stick any of this in the microwave. Whether your drink is hot or cold, you'll wanna just immediately put it in here and then go. You don't wanna be reheating it in this thing. However, this part, the main body of it, is dishwasher safe. So you can wash this part, don't wash this part. However, if it gets dirty, just wipe it down with like some soap and some water and dry it off and you're good to go. Now the main body of this goat mug is in fact plastic. Although it's very, very sturdy, you don't really get any bend to it. So all in all, a pretty nice build. Additionally, this version right here can hold about 12 ounces of liquid. All in all, this is pretty standard for as far as like travel mugs go. Now the handle right here is where it gets a little bit interesting because yes, it is a sleeve so that if your mug gets hot or anything, you can still hold onto it without burning your hand. But as I mentioned before, it's also a stand. So let's say you're out and about with your goat mug and you don't wanna hold it. You wanna set it down somewhere, but as I demonstrated before, it's just gonna flop around. But what you do is you take off this, you flip it upside down, now you have a stand. This looks a little silly, I will admit. 
Uh, but it does seem to work. I'm just not sure how I feel about it. Anyways, if you decide to do this, you can then pop off your little top and there you go. You have it sitting right here. You can let it cool down if you just want to steam. If you want to take your top off, there you go. You have the option to do that and it's not gonna roll around and nothing's gonna spill. In theory, if you're careful, we're not always careful. We know that that's okay. Spills happen, we just clean them up. But in theory, it's not supposed to spill. So that's the main body of the goat mug. Those straps, however, let me show you what they do. Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> if you ever wanted to carry your drink like this, you have the option to do so. There's a couple different versions of this that I really like. I'm calling this the beverage backpack. We've also got the front carry, the necklace, the handbag, and the grip. Now it's a little bit later in the afternoon at this point, and since Mudwater was kind enough to sponsor today's video, I'm gonna put some mud water in here, which means we will have a nice, not too caffeinated beverage to take with us for the test. Now the main metrics I'm gonna use to be judging this, and the main metrics I use to judge any travel mug I get, first of all, how is the spillage? The number two thing I look for is temperature. So we're gonna be putting a a hot drink in here. Some things I wanna know is, is the drink gonna stay warm as it sits in here? Are the outsides of this mug gonna heat up? Will I actually need to be using the sleeve? And the third thing is always gonna be the spout. What are the sips gonna be like? Are they gonna be very, very small sips? Will I have to be kinda like working to get liquid out of this? And just very, very last thing, how do I feel about how it looks? So we've got four things to look out for while we go test this in the wild, if you will. So let's put some drink in here and let's go outside. Okay made it to the outside. I am opting for the backpack carrying, if you will, so it's all latched on. We have our mud water. Um, it is starting to rain, which is kind of fun. So let's go frolic and see how this goes. I will note, um, we have zero spillage so far. So far we're doing very well. Good amount of slosh in there. It feels like I could just like, start swinging this or something. It's probably a bad idea. Okay, so I did say one of the things we were gonna check is temperature, whether the outside was heating up and how the inside is doing. Now I've had this drink made for about 30 minutes now and when I put it in, it was roughly at about 200 degrees. So pretty warm. I will say the outside, the hard plastic shell is getting pretty warm as well, which is to be expected. It's plastic and it doesn't, you know, block out heat very well. I think we should have our first sip, right? Drink is still warm, holding temperature very, very well. Okay, let's continue walking. I'm gonna opt for the front carry this time. Let's find somewhere to sit down and talk about my experience so far. Okay, we've done a good walk around. It is now pouring rain. I think it's time to actually drink some of our drink. First problem I have discovered. To actually use the sleeve, you do need to take off the straps. This is fun. It's like a little nature shower. And I will say, this does work. It's a little wonky. I wish I didn't have to take the straps off, but you do have a stand and this is upright, so that is good. I feel a little silly drinking out of this in public. I think I also feel a little bit silly because we're sitting on the side of the road and there are cars driving by. Overall sippability with this spout, pretty decent. I'm able to get a lot of the drink out. It's not really blocking anything. And I did put steamed milk in this and I'm still able to have the texture of steamed milk, which is very, very nice. Sometimes if your spout is too small, it'll kind of break down that really nice foam as it comes out. Or the other thing is sometimes it will hold it back. So only like the looser liquid that's sitting at the bottom of the cup will come out while the foam just kind of rests on top. All in all, it's a unique experience. I do feel a little bit like an explorer which is a little bit fun, but I also feel very, very damp right now. So I think I wanna go back inside. And when we go back inside, I'll finish talking about this. Oh, no. Of note, um, maybe don't jostle it as much as I have. Uh, <laughs> I have royally destroyed uh, my clip. So that might be my fault and not theirs. All right, so we have made it back in what I would consider mostly one piece. Now, unfortunately, as you saw, I did have some strap trouble on the way back. These two little clasps, these little metal ones that are supposed to go into the goat mug to keep it all together have unfortunately bent and are very hard to bend back. 
However, for that, I don't think I can fault the goat mug entirely because I genuinely think I put this through a lot more stress and strain than it was ever supposed to. That being said, this is very much marketed as like a commuter mug. You stick this on your backpack or strapped around you, or you have this while you're riding your bike or walking or all of those things. This could be viewed as entirely my fault, yes, but also this is meant to be under a lot of stress, so I don't know, I'll leave that up to you. We are now a little bit over an hour of my hot drink being in here. It is still very nice and toasty, very drinkable. Sipping wise, this spout works great. I have no complaints about how much liquid is coming out with each sip. As far as the function and aesthetic of it goes, I don't know, I go back and forth. I do like the idea of being able to strap my thermos around me. I think that's really fun, but I'm not sure if I'm crazy about the overall design and shape of this. Like, yes, having a stand is kind of fun. It's a really, really neat design idea. But in practice, going through that extra step of whenever you want to set this down, you have to like unhook this, turn it upside down, and then set it in. It's kind of a lot. And there's always the possibility if you miss or if you put this in at the wrong angle, it could fall over. But you know, still, the gimmick is fun. This feels adventurous. This feels exploratory, if you will. I felt very brave and like I was on an adventure wandering around the streets with my goat mug strapped to me. So overall, do I like this? Do I think it's a good thing? I think it's a fun thing. I don't think this is something I will use on the day to day, at least definitely not on the day to day. But if I was going to a Renaissance fair or something like that, that's where this belongs. A fun gimmick, a good story, and a nifty little sleeve design. I'll have to leave the judgment up to you about whether you think this would fit your lifestyle. For me, maybe not so much, but still, I'm not mad at it. I think coffee and drinks and coffee adjacent things should be fun. I like when they're a little silly too. And that's definitely what this is. Anyways, I hope this has been a little bit helpful to you. If you would like to learn more about Goat Story or Goat Mug, because besides the Goat Mug, they have a ton of different really, really cool coffee things that you might want to check out. I will link them down in the description below. If you want to see any more of my content, I'm again always on Instagram and TikTok at Morgan Drinks Coffee, and I post videos on here pretty much every week. So if you would like to subscribe for more coffee shenanigans, feel free to do so. And again, thank you to Mudwater for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to try some mud yourself, I have a code that is MDC if you want 15% off. So my mud water and my goat mug and all my other ridiculous coffee things are gonna leave for this video. I hope you have a great week and I will see you next time.